Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is June the 30th, 2021. But before we jump into things, I wanted to remind everyone that I do have some links in my description. One is a Patreon link with a variety of tiers, and one of those tiers may be right for you, so please check that out. Also, a TCG Player affiliate link, and you can actually purchase things using that link, and I actually get a small bonus from that. It really helps support the channel. I also have a Your Playmat discount code with my affiliate link there. If you want to look at making a custom playmat, please check that link out. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters, thank you all so much for supporting this channel. You guys really mean a lot to me. Okay, let's jump into these movers here today, starting the list off with Pearl Medallion from Commander 2014. This card is down 11.38% from 1555 to 1378. We have Grief from Modern Horizons 2. This Mythic is down 12.60% from 2064 to 1804. Our next loser of the day is Sword of Hearth and Home from Modern Horizons 2. It's down 12.83% from 2587 to 2255. We have Endurance from Modern Horizons 2. This card was up the other day, so it's just retracing a little bit from its highs. It's down 13% from 2178 to 1895. Zagoth Trium from Ikoria Lair Behemoths. This card is down 14% from 1545 to 1328. And our last loser of the day is Sterling Grove from Modern Horizons 2. This card is down 37.74% from 371 to 231. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with Black Cleave Cliffs. This card from Scars and Mirrodin is up yet again today. 7.80% from 2347 to 2530. Now, a lot of the fast lands have been going up mostly because of Modern, and that's actually where this card sees most of its play in Modern Black Red decks, Jund, and even Hell's Kitchen, which is a very popular deck at the moment. Our next winner of the day is Stoneforge Mystic, another card that we've been seeing on these lists for the past few weeks. It's up 8.12% from $58 to $62.70. Now, this card is seeing a lot of play right now, especially in modern Orzhov Stoneblade decks, where it is the front runner of that deck. It also sees play in Death and Taxes in Modern and Legacy as well. And our next card is Vengevine. This is the original printing from Rise of the Eldrazi. This card is up 9.44% today from 1621 to 1774. Now this card sees play across a variety of formats, but the decks that like it the most are Hogak and Legacy. It also sees a bit of play in Vintage Hogak Vine, but also Crab Vine and Modern as well. And the next card on our list is Creekwood Liege. This is the original printing of the card from Eventide. It is up 10.58% from 1172 to 1296. And this card is seeing most of its play right now in Commander. And it's seeing play in that Chatterfang Squirrel General deck, which is a card we got recently in Modern Horizons 2. Our next mover on the list today is Dark Slick Shores, another Scars of Mirrodin Fastland. A lot of these Fastlands have been going up in the past two weeks, and this card is up again today, 10.91% from 2053 to 2277. This card is seeing most of its play in that Urza's Kitchen deck, which is a very popular deck right now in Modern. Also, Mill in Ad Nauseam. The next card on the list is Emery Lurker of the Lock. This is the extended art version of the card from Throne of Eldraine. This card is up again today, 11.16%, from $12 to $13.31. Now, this card is seeing most of its play right now in Modern, and the deck that is utilizing this card the most is Urza's Kitchen. Again, yes, this deck is very popular. It also sees a bit of play in Control Decks and Legacy and Blue Red and Modern as well. And the next card on our list is Acorn Catapult. This is another card we've seen on the list yesterday from the original Commander. It is up 13.65% from 938 to 1066. Now this card is seeing a lot of play because of, you know, those cards we got released in Modern Horizons 2. The Squirrel cards that seen play right now in Chatterfang Squirrel General decks in Commander. And the next mover on our list to talk about today is Merchant Ship. Yes, an Arabian Nights card, which is a four horseman set. This is our first reserveless card on the list today. It's up 14.05% from 68.83 to 78.50. And this card had its print run disclosed, as it did all Arabian Nights cards. And there's only 31,000 copies of this card ever printed. And the next mover on our list today is. Emery, Lurker of the Lock, yes. 
it is showing up again, but this is not the extended art version of the card. This is just the regular frame version of the card. It is up 19.19% from $5.68 to $6.77. And our next mover on the list today to talk about is Wall of Opposition. This is a card from Legends, which is a Four Horsemen set, and it's up 21.15% from $13.95 to $16.90. Yes, this is a rare card from Legends, and all the Legends cards had their print run disclosed, and every single rare had 19,300 copies ever printed, and that's exactly how much from this set you have for Wall of Opposition. The next card on our list is Kotaki Wars Wage. This is the modern event deck version of the card. It is up 33.88% from 307 to 411. Now this card is seeing play right now, especially in those Orzhov Stoneblade decks in Modern, which is a very, very popular deck at the moment, but it does see a bit of play in Spirits and Humans as well. And our next mover on the list today is Street Wraith. This is the Time Spiral remastered printing of the card, which is the most recent printing we have of this card. It's up 47% from $2.17 to $3.19. If you compare it to the original printing of Future Sight 1, it does not look like it's anywhere near the price of that card yet. And it is seeing play right now in Living End decks, Urza's Kitchen, even Doomsday and Vintage, and even some other Commander decks as well. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the biggest foil moves of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with Detainment Spell from Time Spiral. It is up 35.81% from $2.96 to $4. Our next mover on the list is Heavy Ballista. This is an old border from 7th edition. It's up 38.55% from $5.50 to $7.62. We've got Plague Wind from 9th edition. This card is up 39.51% from 448 to 625. Blizzard Elemental from Urza's Destiny. This card is up 48.27% from 404 to $6. Our next mover is Power Stone Minefield, another old border foil up 52.36% from 741 to 1129. We've got Wormfang Drake, another old border foil from Judgment. It's up 52.82% from $195 to $3. And our next foil mover of the day is Wildfire. This is the 9th edition printing of the card, up 58.07% from $21.44 to $33.89. Reach Through Mists from Champions of Kamigawa. It's up 113% from $0.98 cents to $209. And our next foil mover is Set of Aller from Apocalypse, another old border foil up 121% from 131 to 290. And our next and last foil mover of the day is Disrupting Shoal from Betrayers of Kamikawa. This card is up 169% from 587 to 1582. Okay, thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really means a lot to me. And if you could hit that like button so my video actually gets shared in YouTube's algorithm as I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers, that will really help my channel out. Also, let me know in the comment section what your favorite mover of the day was and let me know which cards you actually own that are on the list. I do make these videos from Monday to Friday, so please subscribe and come back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. 
If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.